The Emperor and the Nightingale, Earthbound First Reading, based on the story by Hans Christian Andersen, illustrated by Graham Pedigree, Philip Hutt. The Emperor of China was a very proud man. He always wanted the best of everything. He, his palace made of fine white bricks. The roof was solid gold. The garden was full of bright flowers with silver bells. They twinkled in the wind. Music to my ears. Tingling, tingling. The garden was so big that it was so big that even the emperor never saw it all. Oof! They never saw a little brown lightning girl who lived among, lived in the trees. But one day the emperor was reading a book about his wonderful place. The book says the garden's full of bells that tinkle sweetly. The emperor smiled, but the next page made him frown. They went on, but Nightingale's song sounds sweeter than the bells. What's a Nightingale? Why haven't I heard this Nightingale? snapped the emperor. Bring it to sing in the palace now. The palace servant never went into the garden. They didn't know anything about the Nightingale. They did not dare tell the emperor what's a nightingale. Where can we find it? They searched high and low. They looked under the flowers, behind the bushes. Spiders can't sing. And then in the end, they had to ask the gardener. I can show you where the nightingale. She, he said, following, fo follow me. They walked and walked. Suddenly, they heard a croak. The nightingale cried the servant. Ribbit, ribbit, what music? The gardener smiled. No, that's a frog in the pond, he replied. A little later, they heard a loud moo. The lightning girl shouted the servants. That a noise. No, it's a crow, cow in the field, said the gardener, told them. He was trying not to laugh. At the end, they came to a tree. Just then, the lightning girl began to sing, ch ch cheer up, cheer up, such sweet music. Shh. When she finished, the servant clapped. Little, little bird, the night emperor wants you to sing in his palace, they said. My song will sound best out here among the trees, said the bird, but I'll come. And she flew back to the palace with them. Emperor was surprised to see such a little brown bird. She's not very pretty, but when she sang, he was enchanted by her voice. Ch -ch cheer up, cheer up. The emperor liked her voice so much, she ordered her to stay and sing for, to him every day. The emperor gave the nightingale silver cages, but she missed living outside among the trees. Soon the little brown bird was famous. Even the emperor of Japan came to hear her sing. Ch -ch cheer up, cheer up, what a sweet voice. One day a big box arrived at the palace to the emperor of China. There's an even better nightingale from the emperor of Japan. Inside was another nightingale. It had one sparkling gold feathers. Its eyes were made of rubies. What a beautiful bird. When you turn the key, it sang like the little bird. Well, sort of, ta la la. Although the tune was always exactly the same, ta la la. The emperor was very happy. He was so happy, he forgot all about the little brown bird. She flew away and nobody noticed. The emperor played the golden nightingale every morning, ta la la. And every evening, ta la la. Until. One day, instead of singing, it went whizzer and ker plunk. Something had broken inside and no one knew how to fix it. Now, now the emperor longed for the little brown bird, but no one could find her, not even the gardener. Then the emperor became sick. He lay in the bed, staring sadly at his broken bird. The room was full of silence and shadows. The doctors said he was close to death. 
Suddenly, the sound of bird song filled the air. It was the real nightingale. Ch -ch -cheer, cheer up, cheer up. He had found out the king, the emperor, was sick. He had to come to sing for him. She sang sweetly that the shadow seemed to fade. The emperor smiled and he began to get better. Ch -ch cheer up, cheer up. Soon the emperor was out again. I'm sure the nightingale cured me. He got. Please stay, big the b little bird. You can have a golden cage and all the servants you want. I'll draw away the golden bird. I prefer to live outside among the trees, the nightingale replied, and she flew away. The emperor was very sad. He asked the gardener to plant a tree under his window. It'll remind me of the nightingale, he, he said. The gardener watered the tree every day. It grew and grew. One day, the emperor heard something flutter past his window. It looked up. Ch -ch cheer up, cheer up. To his surprise, he saw two nightingales and they were building a nest in the tree, and they sung. Everybody in the palace smiled to hear them. The emperor, most of all. The end. The broken bird. I wish you guys liked the story. And wish you Chinese. And wish you Chinese New Year. Bye bye.